Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at Hannah's High Range Copper Checker. If you're going to medicate your fish using copper and need an accurate and easy way to measure the copper concentration in the aquarium, regardless of what form of copper is being used, that takes under two minutes to perform and provides a digital reading between zero and 5.00 ppm, so you don't have to squint at the minute shades on a color chart trying to figure out which one it is, then check out Hannah's high range copper checker. Testing for copper is an important step when using a copper medication for treating your ill fish for external parasites like ick and other fish diseases, or as a therapeutic and preventative measure while quarantining new fish before adding them to your display tank. Not only is it important to get the initial dosage and concentration correct so that the treatment will be effective, but you also need to maintain that copper level for the entire treatment period. For example, some copper medications are going to precipitate over time and will require top-ups to maintain that concentration in the aquarium. And if you're doing water changes on a quarantine system to keep ammonia and nitrate levels safe during the treatment, you'll also need to add some copper medication back to make up for what was removed during the water change. So instead of trying to math it out or guesstimate how much you should be adding back to the tank, it's a lot safer and more effective to just test for it. Many test kits out there will test for copper levels up to 2.0 ppm, but not past it, which works for some copper medications, but not all. For example, one of the more popular medications, Copper Power, needs to be dosed all the way up to 2.5 ppm to be an effective range for not only parasites, but also fungus. So if you're going to be dosing up to 2.5 ppm, you need a test kit that's going to be able to read past that. And if you're the kind of person who doesn't like those color charts and straining your eyes to try to match up those subtle shades, especially the blues, and you just want an easy to read number that you don't need to second guess, then this is a better option for you. So let's get it out of the box and then we'll do a test together. In the box, you'll find the copper checker, two cuvettes, a pack of six reagents, the battery, and a storage box along with the instructions. Hannah checkers are well known for their quality components and ease of use, and this copper checker is no different. You get a storage case, glass cuvettes with screw-on caps, and packets of reagent to get you started. It only takes a single pre-measured reagent and a couple of minutes to get your copper reading. And if you've been a fan of Hannah's alkalinity checker, you will feel right at home using this one. To perform a test with your brand new checker, the first thing you'll do is install the battery. Next, turn the checker on by holding the button and wait for C1 to be displayed. Next, fill a cuvette with water from your aquarium up to the 10 milliliter line and cap it. Place it into the checker, close the cap all the way and press the button. Once it displays C2, remove the cuvette, take off the cap, add one full packet of reagent to the cuvette, replace the cap and gently shake it for 15 seconds to mix it. Place the cuvette back into the checker and close the cap all the way, then press and hold the button to start the 45 second timer. After 45 seconds, the checker will automatically display the copper reading in PPM and will automatically shut itself off after 10 minutes or when you press the button again. It is that simple, and after going through that test a couple of times, I've already got it memorized and I can do the test in under two minutes. Like I mentioned, the checker does come with six packs of reagents, which will work out to six tests, but you'll most likely want to pick up an extra pack of reagents along with the checker. A pack of reagents provides 25 tests and will work out to roughly 40 cents per test. Well worth it to make sure your copper treatments are effective and your fish are healthy and parasite free. If you already have fish in your reef tank that are showing signs of parasites like ick, it is definitely a good idea to remove them and treat them with copper in quarantine. However, there are other methods you can use to help prevent the spread or explosion of parasite populations in your reef tank. Ryan has an amazing five minute guide on that topic you can check out right here. It goes over how you can essentially use UV to keep those parasites in check in your reef tank, which can be a step you do on top of quarantining or just be your main method of, you know, trying to manage parasite load in the aquarium. Personally, I'm gonna be doing both. I'm going to quarantine and have UV because to me it just seems like the safest option. So have a watch.